Hello, hope you're well. Today I'm doing a full house cleaning review. We're using the SIBO Felix. This is one of my favorite machines, along with the ill-fated SIBO X7. And I say ill-fated because I did slam that in the first review I did of it. However, SIBO took it in, fixed it up, and it is the machine I use on a daily basis. And both that and this are my two favorite machines. In many respects, this has the edge. However, I do use the X7 on a daily basis purely because it has increased functionality, which I'll talk about as we go along. Let's just have a quick look at what this one's like and what it comes with. Now, it comes with a stair tool, which is useful, which was fitted on here, and it came with the crevice tool. I added this brush for doing surfaces and getting behind radiators, and I bought this brush separately. I tend to use that more than the stair tool for dusting and so on, so I tend to keep that one on the machine at all times. It has quite a long pipe. Now the wand does pull out, but where the X7 has increased functionality is, it has a long wand with a handle here, which makes it a lot easier for doing high levels and skirting boards, whereas this you have to stoop to pull it out. It does have a very clever little micro switch just in this hole here, which when you pull this out, turns the brushes off and stops them scoring the floor. Well done, SIBO. If you watch my other reviews about this machine, you'll see that I've actually picked that up. There's a bag in here, easy to replace. This nice jazzy exterior is a, a motor filter that needs replacing every so often. There is also a filter in the internal canister underneath the bag, and I've used this for the equivalent of five or six years and still not had to replace it. It's that good. On the bottom here, you've got a dial that changes the height of the brush on the floor. I tend to keep this on two. And then there's a brush on off button here, which you can control with your foot. Top here, you've got the on off switch. And this also controls the suction too. So when it's pushed right down, it's at full suction, further up, less suction. Very useful feature. And also easy access because it access it from here. One thing I will mention before I start is I've used this particular house for two other similar reviews for the Hoover HR price and for the SIBO X7. And the reason I've picked it is there are two pets, a cat and a dog, two kids, and multiple flooring types. So it gives the machine a good test. Now I've currently got the brush off. What I have found with this machine is if you have the brush on on hard floors, it does flick dirt about. In other videos that I've done about this particular vacuum, I've shown you the brilliant design feature here, which makes it really good for getting into edges. So as you can see there, I'm running right up to the edge. and that will be pulling any dust into the machine. It's very good, is this. The advantage to this is it makes the machine because you can switch the brush off, it makes the machine behave just like a canister vacuum. The traditional canister that we all know and some of us love is the Henry. And the Henry doesn't have a motorized brush. So it's particularly good on hard floors. And what SIBO have tried to do with this, and succeeded in my opinion, is make an upright that functions as good as 
a hen root on hard floors. What it does pay to do with this machine is to do the right hand edges first because of the design feature on the right hand side of the machine. Look at that, the dog's not even bothered by it. How cool is that? Right, so now I'm going to turn the brush on. Hello Marley. Aren't you a good boy? Eh? You're a lovely lad, aren't you? You're not bothered by me at all, are you? It is funny that so many of my customers have said, oh, the dog will go nuts when you vacuum. Not had one do that yet. You watch Marley prove me wrong today. <laughs> isn't, how those, isn't that how those things always happen? Right, so coming off the carpet, you can hear the brush rolling, press that and the brush is off. What I do find with this machine is it covers a lot of ground quickly and easily. It also has that nice feature that my dad affectionately called a wibbly wobbly head. I think that should become a, a technical term, a full on technical term in memory of my late father. Now unlike the other machines I've done this with recently, this one doesn't have any lights at the front. So when I go into here, I will need to put the lights on. There's a few bits of dog stuff there. Let me just show you this head look. Done. How cool is that? The canister itself, I can't recall how much this one holds. About three litres, I think. Oh, and the other thing I forgot to mention is it does have a 10 meter cord to which, as always, I add another 10 meters. But the other really nice feature about this is because it has this wibbly wobbly head, it's just very versatile and maneuverable. And it's great for getting into little tight spaces. and corners. How versatile is that head? <laughs> Brilliant. So it does pay like on this floor, to do the hard floor first.
and then turn the brush on for going onto the carpet. It would be brilliant if this thing had a light on it. Because like, I think you can see those corners there are a little bit dark. And it would just shine a bit more light on it. So you could see what you were doing. Definitely in here. Another nice con, sorry, another nice pro with this machine, I think it'll pick it up, is just how low profile it is. Look at that, I take that off. Right, where was I? Bit of an interruption there. One of the things that I do like about this is, while you're hoovering around, the wand, well I say wand, the pipe does remove easy and it's easy to put the brush on. And dust some surfaces. As you've just seen, it is a little bit unstable and you do have to keep a hand on it of just keep your awareness on it for where it is. What you'll often see me do with this machine is something along these lines. If I'm working in a corner like this, I'll keep my leg behind it so that if it pulls over, it pulls over onto me. But it's a minor inconvenience considering the functionality that these offer in terms of being able to get into areas with a brush and also to take the dust out of the property in the bag without actually having to damp wipe it and run it down the sink in a cloth. And yeah, good for doing things like windowsills, skirting boards, well not so much skirting boards, but windowsills and ledges and shelves. Now one of the drawbacks is, where, and this is where the X7 has the increased functionality, is you don't have much reach on this. I, do, I did buy an extension pipe don't worry about that, that's just where I split the pipe and reinforced it with some polymorph plastic. 
Well that means it's an extra thing to have to carry around. And nevertheless, it does mean you can reach the high areas a lot easier. And obviously you can also then use it on skirting boards too. All of which saves you having to bend and stoop. As you can see, we're now at the bottom of the staircase. And if I now take the pipe out and add the stair tool, We can do the stairs and the skirting boards. Now this hose isn't long enough to reach all the way up the stairs. So you can lift the top off, it does have a lift off function. However I tend to just use the handle on the side because this is another brilliant design feature, this easy carry handle. I think I've just done that step, haven't I? It is really nice to carry. It is heavy, and in that respect it wouldn't be suitable for everybody. I think this weighs about six or seven kilos. For me, it's fine. Last step. I say last step. This house has quite a few. Yeah, one of the nice things about this is it is easy to switch between the pipe and the vacuum. You know, the main, using the hose and the wand to going back to using it just as a straightforward wall machine. Yeah, you can see how much better this machine is getting underneath things. I mean look how far under that goes. The low profile head on this is really magnificent. Magnificent I tell you. And the reason why I quite like this crevice tool with a brush on, it's easy to get behind radiators, plus it also works on surfaces like this. A bit noisy. But it does the job.
I've emptied a few bits of, well, ripped up a few bits of toilet paper on this floor here. Let's see what it does with those. In fact, watch this, because I love this. <laughs> Look at it, not even close, it just sucks them in. How cool is that? To make it look difficult, Carl. Try not to make it look difficult. This doesn't get an awful lot of hammer, so it's not too bad. But what you do get, put that in there. You get a plant debris on here. Done. Yeah. I'm not going to do an awful lot in this room, it's a baby room and it doesn't get an awful lot of hammer or footfall so I just pop up here and give it a quick going over just to help keep the dust down Easy for doing skirting boards with. I do find that by and large floor setting two on here is good for most floors. Even without the brush rolling. The only time I vary that is when the vacuum cleaner bag is getting fuller and the suction has dipped a bit. Then I might drop it to uh, number one. The only other time I vary that quite naturally would be when I'm going over a really deep pile carpet. If I'm going over a deep pile one then obviously 
I will drop it down to three or four, just to be on the safe side. Right, so I'm going to wrap this up there. I hope you found the review of this machine useful. If you've got a Zebo Felix or if you've had a Zebo Felix and you've got any comments on this, by all means let me know. Any tips or tricks that you might have picked up, drop them in the comments. I think it's a fabulous machine. It's quick, it's versatile. I'd love it if it had a longer wand. Oh, that for me, as a, as a piece of vacuum cleaner technology would be. Anyway, if you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. It's just underneath there, underneath the video. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. It's entirely up to you. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, by all means, please subscribe. It does help, costs you nothing. And all it means is whenever I upload a new video, YouTube will just give you a little notification when you open up YouTube. That's all for now. You take care. See you soon.